Hello, my name is Adonis, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a love coming spread for all of my Scorpios out there. So, this is a love coming spread for all of my Scorpios out there for the week of July 28th into August the 3rd. So, without any further ado, let's jump right in and get this thing popping. Okay. Oh, Sun Rising Venus Super, Sun Rising Venus Super. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see for all of my Scorpios out there. What kind of love do I have coming towards my Scorpios out there? What kind of love do I have coming towards my Scorpios out there? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see for the week of July 28th into August 3rd. Just show me what kind of love is coming towards all of my Scorpios out there. Okay, here we go, guys. Okay. Okay, all right. So, here we go. So, <clears throat> right now, it looks like you have a water sign individual. Knight of Cups coming right at you. Water sign energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So, that individual is coming towards you. Okay? So, this person is kind of like the knight in white shining armor. Kind of dashing, domineering. Um... And this person is approaching you, okay? He's, this person is kind of like, you know, trying to get your attention. Now, the thing that you need to be aware of with this individual is this. Um, <clears throat> in addition, we got the Four of Cups. So, this person is approaching you trying to get your attention. But, you know, uh, they're kind of offering you something. All right? Now, if you don't take it, they're going to be like, ah, whatever. You know what I'm saying? They're like, ah, whatever. Because... And here's why I don't want to I don't want to really use the word player because um, because well you know what yeah I will use the word player because that's exactly what this individual is is a player because this person is engaged in also three of cups type of situation which is a third party situation celebrating having a good time so this person is interested in you but it does not look like this person is interested in a long term situation by any means it's just looking to just Go out, have fun, you know, and not not that I'm saying it is there's anything wrong with that, but if you're looking for something solid long term, um, then this Knight of Cups individual is not the person that you want to be messing around with. They kind of like they got their own kind of thing going on here, dashing, domineering, kind of feeling themselves, kind of offering you something, kind of kind of half ass, and you know, kind of you know, kind of you know, hey, you don't know, have a good time. I'm interested in you. But if it doesn't work out with you, ah, well, whatever. You know, no harm, no foul type of thing. So, um, but again, this person likes to have a good time, likes to party, um, engage with other individuals, having a good time as well. If that's your thing, then this is your person, okay? So, with that being said, also we have the Ace of Cups individual. So, this is another water sign individual coming towards you, Scorpio, just like yourself. Another water sign individual coming at you. Again, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Now, this particular person is the real deal. This person is the real deal. And they are actually looking to have a long-term, deep, loving, beautiful relationship. Okay? Now, again, these this person also has some fillers out there. Why? They put some fillers out there to see what else is going on with the people because you have the Three of Wands. So, this person also is kind of waiting to see waiting for their ships to come in, waiting to see what comes over the horizon, okay? Because you're not the only one. However, they are pretty confident we got the Magician card here that they're going to be able to manifest the reality that they want with you. So that's something, that's really, really something you want to keep in mind here. They're looking to kind of start this new thing with you. Now, with that being said, we have the World card, which is a completion of a circle here. So this could possibly mean a couple things here. Number one, the world card represents travel, so you could possibly meet this individual in, in some type of travel. You could have met this individual coming to some tour, uh, dealing with some type of travel. Also, there's a strong possibility in the context of this. This is the this is the end of a at the end of a journey for them, which means they they have uh, uh, maybe not literally, but figuratively speaking. Things for them have come full circle. They made the travel. They travel full circle in their life, and they've come to this point where they're like, you know what? This is the person that I want to be with. This is the person that I want to take a chance with. Because finally, here we have the full card, which means they are looking to take a leap of faith. 
with the particular with with the relationship with you. So they're putting it out there. Like I said, you're not the only one, but they're looking to take a leap of faith with you. So with that being said, let's see uh, what strengths you're going to be working with at the time. Some rising Venus Jupiter, some rising Venus Jupiter, some cards I need to see, some cards I need to see. Uh, that one will pop out. There you go. What kind of strengths are you working with? What kind of strengths are my Scorpios going to be dealing with during the month of July 28th to August 3rd? What kind of strengths are my Scorpios going to be dealing with? Some cards I need to see, some cards I need to see. Get a couple shuffles here, guys. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Boom. Okay, so there you go. So first thing off the bat here, um, Ace of Wands. So you are definitely in a very loving. Uh, you have just a lot of sexual energy that you have built up within you. A lot of sexual energy. A lot of sexual tension. Um, a lot of fiery energy. So that these are all your strengths. So you have a lot of passion, a lot of creativity that you're dealing with right now that you're looking to release. That's number one. Number two, um, you got the Page of Swords here. Now, in the context of this, um, kind of like saying, well, this is kind of like an immature energy type of thing. Here, here's how you need to look at it. Um, again, you you probably look like you you were coming off of a, of a, of a you may be kind of young acting. You were probably coming off of uh, 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 some situations. I've seen all the cards here. I'm going to reveal them to you, but trust me. You're coming off of a situation where, um, to some people, you may be coming off childish, but again, it's kind of to protect yourself. So, you know, you're very, you may, you're coming off playful, so forth, so on, but it's only to protect yourself from a lot of a not a lot of nonsense that you that you just you just going through but you have a lot of sexual passion and energy built up inside so that being the case also we have the strength card here which means that another strength you have you have a lot of passion okay a b there's a lot of uh, 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 uh it's taking courage for you to step out here again and put yourself out in the market and that is just a strength that you're dealing with you know it's taking some courage for you to do this because you have just gotten over a situation, and this is where I'm going to say a lot of this comes into play here. Not of sorts. So you went, you have gone through the gambit. You have just went through something emotionally trying um, that has caused you emotional, uh, some type of depression, anxiety. You've, you've just kind of gotten over that situation, okay? Because these are strengths now. So this situation just happened. You know, the memory is still fresh. The bruises are still raw because you also have the tower here. So whatever this thing was, it kind of, it, 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 it damn near knocked you out. But you're still here. You're still moving forward. You're still, you're back in the game again. You've put yourself out there. So these were some dramatic events. And this could be why you got this page of swords energy here. Kind of like a somewhat of a... Of, of, an, of an immature energy because you know you're being you're being kind of cautious you're being you know you're, you're being careful because you don't want to put yourself out there again and get hurt with the situation so with that being said also we got the two of wands which says that you do have some choices there are some choices out here there are definitely some choices out here uh that you need to be that you need to look at you know for yourself so um again that is that is something that is definitely a, 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 a good strength to have. In addition, we have the Seven of Swords here. Now, Seven of Swords here is when you want to get into the Nine of Swords and the Tower, Seven of Swords here, you just got finished dealing with some situation here where there was some sneaky behavior that was taking place. Again, that's where that Tower comes in, and then you got the Nine of Swords that comes in on top of it. So you just dealt with those real traumatic situations here. So once bitten, twice shot. Okay? And finally here, you got the Four of Cups. So, that tells me the things do not work out the way that you need them to, you'll reject it. You don't want to deal with a whole lot of nonsense and, and heartache again because you've already been through it. So, these are your strengths. So, what type of things that you've dealt with in the past could possibly affect the outcome of this particular situation? These love interests here. Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. What has my Scorpios been through in the past that could possibly affect the outcome? Pass possibly affect the outcome of their potential opportunities 
to do with these love interests? What kind of things from the past could possibly affect the outcome of this particular situation? Show me cards I need to see, show me cards I need to see, show me cards I need to see. Wow, okay, so right off the bat here we guys, we have the moon card. So, as it shows with the tower and the nine of swords, there was something hidden and deceptive about what you have just gone through. And it caused you a bit of anxiety. If you had, if, if, what happened to you in the past was the moon card, you were deceived. Or you feel as though you were deceived. If you get the near inkling that any of this is coming from um, any of these love interests, potential love interests right here, you will shut that shit down fast. Guaranteed. Um, so that is definitely something from your past that it will it could possibly affect the outcome of this situation. In addition, you have the Eight of Swords. So the, the feeling of being trapped, being blindsided, feeling like you had your hands tied behind your back. If you feel like you're trapped in this particular situation where you're blindsided, you don't see what's coming, that's another thing. You, you'll cut it quick because right now you're just, you know, you have, you have a, you've just been through a lot and you don't want to go through anything remotely similar to, similar to what you just went through. So that will absolutely be a game changer. Also, finally, we've got the temperance card. If you're dealing with somebody where there's not an equal give and take here, you will shut this thing down. 100% guaranteed. So um, that's where we are with that. So before I shut this thing down, let's see if the spirits have any additional information they want to bestow upon you before I shut this thing down. If there any additional information that you want to give my Scorpio before I shut this thing down, any additional information you'd like to tell my Scorpio before I shut this thing down, show me cards I need to see, show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. Any more questions, guys? Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Interesting. First card to come out. Core. Now, this is an interesting card, Core, because what that means is what the spirit's trying to tell you, whenever I get this card, it always means coming digging deep, deep, deep within, like a soul type of situation. Coming coming from the inside. When you find that individual, because I know you've been hurt, but when you find that individual, do not be afraid to pour all of your love inside from the core of your being, who you are. When you find an individual, take a chance. Pour all your love inside from the core, your the core of your being of who you are coming from the inside. That's what that that's what that means. Giving it everything you got because you will be successful. How do I know this? Connection. You will absolutely make a connection with someone, but again, it's going to take a little time. It's going to take a little a little bit of time. Alright? These potential love interests, it, it could be one of these individuals. But take your time. Don't rush into anything. All right? Once bitten, twice shy. In addition here, finally here, got the alchemy card here. And that is a transmutation card. Transforming from one thing to another. Turning lead to gold, etc., etc. You have transformed yourself from a victim to a victor transmutation needs to take place in order for you to truly be victorious like i said right now i know you're in and in, in, well right now you're, you're like you've gotten over being in a bad situation but you got to make that transformation from victim to victor you do that you're going to be fine so with that i'm going to shut this thing down thank you guys so much please like share subscribe if you haven't already um, please, if this resonated with you, please feel free to get a personal reading. I'll leave all the information below. Um, and if you have it, if this doesn't resonate with you, remember, these are general love readings. Um, you may want to get a, a reading with me so we can dig down to your situation to help you better understand your situation. At any rate, thank you so much. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.